Won't be long before the Werak finds out I took out the bandit camp. In fact, I'll bet my name's all over Song's Edge. Might be time to challenge Aratok. Blink, my eyes will freeze shut. Outlander, huh? Well, who else would join me on this path I've taken? Which path would that be? Away from tradition. Away from the Werak. It's not so... <sighs> Damn. They need metal too. But my need is greater. Told the Banuk don't accept help. Is it true? <laughs> they don't. I do. Look sharp, Outlander! There's more of them! 
Run! You fight well. I am a Cree. Thank you. I'm Aloy. I heard the White Teeth were missing two hunters. You look like you could leave if you wanted to, so... I stayed because of the other. My Len. She snapped her leg descending the ice. I've bided my time keeping vigil, but now she must return to the Werak before they leave. Is joining the White Teeth so important to you? It's one of the great Weraks of Banor. Not so many great ones left now. I would go where my Lin went. I was her shadow on the snow and she was mine. To be a runner with the white teeth was everything to her. You know this my Lin well. Since our knees were always skinned. All my life. In a test to prove that we only need ourselves. That was my weakness. Sounds like she was lucky for your weakness. That's not the way she sees it. Mylan won't let you help her, will she? Because of the rules of this test. You're quick as a rockfall. No, just used to being told what's forbidden to me. She won't allow it. Won't take the medicinal plants I found or the food. Only what she can scrape up on hands and knees. I could get close when she was delirious, but now she's learned not to let me get close. What's this ordeal supposed to prove? That we have the strength of our ancestors. That we can survive as they did. When they came in search of a homeland, some were trapped against this glacier by a snowstorm. Four days, four nights. After the storm cleared, the survivors sighted a tall neck which led them up into Banor. Well, that's the story I learned anyway. So let's get her back to the Warwick. All right. I've made a splint for her leg. Medicine for the pain, but I should warn you, she won't take them willingly. The law of survival- Tribal law shouldn't keep us apart from the ones we care for. Even if she cares more for the law. That's where we're going. The frozen flow from the Ice Father. It keeps many things, but it won't have her. Not if we can help it.
more up? We're lucky. Handholds have thawed. There. She's passed out again. Between us, we can fight the machines off before they reach her. Uh, another tradition broken. Take it from me. It gets easier the more you do it. Rappers! In thin air, they smell metal for miles! Now, this won't be easy, Aloy. Looks like it's clear. We did it. Feel her fever even in this cold. She shouldn't have been putting weight on this leg. She is awake. <sighs> Miss Outlander. You bored her here, Ikri? You think I went to the Nora homelands to find a spear to drive between us? I told you. The ordeal is mine, and mine alone. I will survive! Which would you rather keep, my Lynn? Your leg, or your pride? Because I think you're gonna have to choose. Finish it. I know what you think of me. But I vowed you'd join the White Teeth. And you will. I will go back. <clears throat> Alone. <clears throat> no! Let me do this. Please, let her. My Len, I hope you can forgive me someday. I never accepted your help. It's the where act you should ask for forgiveness. I didn't care about the where act. She'll understand. You saved her life. You don't know the Benuk very well, Aloy. We have so many ways to express a grudge, and only one to accept an apology. I have to go my own way. I don't belong with them, who left her to die. And I don't belong with... Ikri. I'll find a crack in this glacier, and I'll shout my grief into it. And the ice can keep it forever. What should I tell them? The work that I fell. And that she endured. Will you?
Looking good. Has returned. I expect you have something to say about this. I do. Then convince me what an outlander's word is worth. I'm not up on all of the Banuk traditions, but I know what matters to you is that your laws are upheld. Going by the rules of your ordeal, she endured the four days and the four nights. She faced the extremes and survived. Seems to me that's what you wanted. Just so. Then by the law, my Len will wear our paint. Outlander. So nothing of the other hunter? The one called Ikri? She's... gone. She sounded brave. Her name... will always be in my song.
save this for later. me. Well, somebody wanted in. Nearly blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door.
Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin, huh? Wonder where that is. Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? Take Tauk, I should be able to shut this place down from here. Looks like most of the facility is underwater. How did this happen? I should be able to shut this place down from here. Ugh, someone made a mess of this. If I had the right parts, I'll bet I could get it working again. through here. Not that long ago. Are you all right? <laughs> well, you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. The forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. <laughs> when you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go at that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... flood a little. So I pushed the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My... cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones, but one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from, from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face, and seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses. It's in the storage room. Oh, yes. I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber, and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. 
Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect. <laughs> my savior, my salvation. And if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours, and with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. <laughs> quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also, quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't gonna be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl, two sets of hands. Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started then. I guess we better. No floaters. No way I'd be able to swim. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? You know, I'm reminded of a well by on the cook out near the plane. Stone ruin, cloud tall and plate wide. That's been 13 levels on that one. Drop no wall. Of stagnant water. You don't suppose that's marvelous? You made it. Now grab that valve and give it a spin. On it. A little more now, and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving. There. You should be able to lower the gate. Huh? Right, you are. Now. When I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. Ought to lock this thing in place. One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate! A ladder is a rare and special thing, girl. Can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go and no further. Hmm. I'd wager the valves for the second sluice gate are somewhere above us. How are we gonna get up there? Looks like I could jump across on that rickety resting platform. I'll find a way up. Nice jump! <laughs> nice! What am I saying? That was stupendous! I've never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety. Thanks, I think. <laughs> oh, you're close, girl! Just spring across the gap! Ah, uh -huh. you're right above me. Just send that ladder on down. Look out below. Now we've done this once before. It should be as easy as falling down a hole. If you take the valve on the other side. If it's set up the same way on this side, I should look for an access tunnel.
probably needed the wash. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve. Uh, uh, it's not working! Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and, uh, broken? Looks like part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. straight to the counter right from here. But I could climb higher, but about it. to metal rust trap. Still a bit of water, but low enough, wouldn't you say? Now then, uh, where's that ring? Good question. Well, at least I should be able to swim now. Snap maw! It's a snap maw! Very, very big snap maw! I see it, Gildan! Very big, very, very big! Just stay out of the way! It's dead. Marvelous. So, the uh, ring. Maybe if you pry its jaws open and reach inside, I can't look. Thing did swallow the ring. Ha, ha! That's the old gilded intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen routes can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage room. To the spoils. We're not even in the van meeting. Sort of count the graphics, right? Uh, merch. We need merch. Stickers. 
You're not a real band until someone vandalizes government property with the stick. Colleagues, I have been asked to remind you that conversations determined to be irrelevant to servitor training are discouraged. What were you saying about vandalizing government property? We drained enough water for what we need to do, but I wonder if I could empty out the whole dam. Pipes, valves, maybe I can drain the rest of the water from here. Could use my focus, see what it turns up. All right, time to get the flow going to the right place. I say this as a man typically enamored of complexities, but this looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry. I think I've got this. Music to my ears. To each job its proper tool. Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes. That didn't help. The water can't pass through. Right? Looks like I'm on the right track. You got a competent mind, girl. A mind for nuance and finesse. Not I. No, indeed. Not old Gildan. There. One step closer. Getting there. This job demands a certain degree of patience, doesn't it? I'm afraid I inherited my mother's restlessness. Spent half a day flummoxed by a Karja puzzle box. <laughs> there, one step closer. Something's not right. Did you? <laughs> of course you did. Never met a conundrum you couldn't unconundrum, have you? The door's open. Guess it had sealed because of the flooding. Would you look at that? Ha! You've drained this place completely. Could be that this old ruin is hiding a few more secrets down below. Of course, that storage room still awaits our perusal. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait! Almost there! Soon I'll hold the looking glass in my hand. Just like Mama and I.
Another holographic interface. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. The lock positions. Helpful. Uh... What... Um... What are you doing with your hands there, girl? <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. Where is it? Where did it go? I mean, this is it. We get to play together, what, maybe two more times? Nah, shells. Farewell tour! Reunion tour, like, what six months. Dance to it all the time. <laughs> For our adoring fans. It's not that hard to stay in touch, Shelly. We could practice in holistic. Imagine such things, not two cells in a row. I'd have to ditch something. Gildan? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. Right there in the window. I was. Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve! Not the treasure. <laughs> And what a delve it was! Ugh. By the great blazing forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I, uh, believe we have some repairs to make. a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge. Ha! You are a wonder! Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out, too. Maybe I'll take a look. Another adventure so soon? Whew. You're braver than me. Why there was no place for that? <laughs>
Water's lower now. But what's that sound? It's coming from downstream. Coming from inside this room. I can feel it in my chest. That's quite a sound you're making. I'm Aloy. I just lowered the waters from the dam north of here. The water came from the Grey Catch? And it was you that stopped it? Then I owe you the deepest of thanks. I'm Laulai, the drummer of this place. Deep din, as my father was and his mother before him. But recently the river rose and the basin flooded. I thought it was a curse. Our sacred instrument lost for good. Not quite a curse. Just a clumsy Osiram. Mm-hmm. I think I saw him not long ago in Song's Edge. He talks a lot. Like he thought his voice was melody. That's the one. Well, I'll let you get back to your music. Yes. I'm eager to play, after being kept away by the waters. But please, take this. I meant it when I said I owe you. This place means a lot to me. And my family. 